Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss the business model with you. I'm going to give you a couple of examples and I'm also going to show you how it works. This is business model number 8. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about business model number 8. It's important to know that this business model is often used by software developers or software companies. I'm going to show you how it works and what you can do about it. If you have questions about this business model or you want to know more about it or you want to know if this suits your needs, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. When you start reading a business model canvas, it's important to know that you read the value proposition. After that, you're going to look at the custom segment. And after that, you're going to look at the key partners. And after that, you're going to go look at the cost structure and the revenue stream. So let's look at the value proposition. The thing is with this business model, it's interesting because you're developing a software and you're offering the software, the solution, the service that your software is providing for free. And if customers want support, then you can say, hey, if you want support, you need to pay for it. It's that simple. So for example, you develop a software and the software brings certain kind of solution for some people. You give the people the software for free, but if they want to support, so how to use the software, they need to pay for it. So, so, they, so they need to pay for support. So it works like this. You're making software, the customers has something like self-service co customers, and they have access to the platform. So it's free, but when they want more, for example, if they want um, support or other things, then they're going to become paying customer. So you're providing support or you're providing extra services with your p software. So that's how this works. It's really simple. Your key activity is going to be like product services. So you're helping your clients with the software and trying to help them use the software. It depends what kind of software it is. And your software is going to be open source. The thing is try to get as much people using your software and after that you're going to offer premium services. So your key partner is going to be like if you're building a development community or anything else, you need something to put your platform on it. So your software on it. So it's going to be your open software. And let's look at the cost and the revenue stream. When you're using this business model, you have three costs, platform development costs, sales costs and distribution costs. Platform development cost is just a cost that you have for uh, that you are paying the platform for for running on your software. And you also have sale costs, so you need people to sell it of marketing costs, and you also have distribution costs. It depends what kind of software you have. These are the basic costs that you have when you have developer um, software. How do you get what's your revenue stream? You only have one revenue stream and it's professional subscription. If people need your services, they can get some subscription for your software and they can pay you for it. It depends what kind of business model you use, but if you use this business model, you can offer subscription, but you can also say, hey, listen, you could just pay once time, one lifetime payment, and you can use the software, whatever you want. So they pay for it. It doesn't have to be a subscription. If you have question about this business model or you want to use it and you want to know more about it and how you can use it in your company, Feel free to contact me. I will see what I can do for you. See you in the next video. This is the end of the video. In this video, I discuss the business model with you. If you have questions about this business model, feel free to contact me. Power, 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 power